Welcome back to CodeMonk. Today we are going to see how to deploy Node.js app uh, using Nginx as a reverse proxy. Uh, I'm just having my EC2 instance and we are going to see how to deploy it. And the EC2 instance. We have to install uh, Nginx and Node. Uh, I already installed Node. Okay, check the version. If you want to know how to install and manage multiple versions of node.js and your linux system you can check my previous video that i have uh, given the link in the description uh, now we will see how to install nginx sudo install nginx this will install the nginx server We can we can check the instruction state. I think the nginx instruction is completed. We can check whether the nginx server running or not. Sudo system control status. Nginx. We can check the status of nginx server using this command. <coughs> and is running. It's running now. Uh, we will take a sample Node.js Express server and we will deploy that. Create, we will create a sample node.js project we will create a sample node.js project first Initialize the node project, new node project. <coughs> now we have package.json and I'm going to install uh, Express.js. Now paste a uh, create a server. Take this code and paste it. Now we will check uh, the server. We'll run the run and check the server. No days. Uh, our application is uh, Node.js server is running on port three thousand. Our hello world uh, application running on the port number 3000. Now we will uh, see how to uh, proxy it using nginx. Before that, uh, when we run using node, when we run the server using node command, it will be closed when we kill that when we kill the uh, session. So if we want to run it. Uh, after killing the session, we have to run it on the background. Uh, for that, we have we are going to use a PM two, a tool that will be useful to run the Node server in the background. 
install pm2 as a global module npm install ifng pm2 this will install pm2 as a global module now we can run our node server uh, using pm2 instead of node server yes we can uh, use pm2 start server.js this will run our node application as a service so that it will be run uh, in background yeah, so it will not be killed when we close the session yeah we just started our server now it is running we can see that it is online and uh, uh, we will see about uh, a little bit about uh, pm2 if, if you want to check the status of uh, server you can use this pm2 list to list all the running uh, process of node.js you can see the status is online and uh, the memory and other states we can see the other states memory states and You can also check the logs using pm2 log. ID of instance. You can check the logs like this. Okay. Now we can. Uh, uh, now we will see how to proxy, uh, we, how to set up uh, Nginx as a reverse proxy. We already installed Nginx, and we know it is running. And we will configure now. We will uh, configure Nginx as a reverse proxy to Node.js. First, uh, the Nginx configuration files will be in will be sites in etc. nginx folder where we can find the different uh, module uh, different folders that are responsible for uh, nginx configuration sites enabled uh, we can we can also check that uh, the nginx server status can access the nginx server from the outside using the ip the sites enabled folder will uh, contain uh, uh, sites that are uh, enabled now and publicly publicly accessible those are publicly accessible uh, we'll see what is inside that default file You can see that configuration nginx configuration that the server is listening or uh, uh, server is listening on port 80 so that we can access the nginx uh, server through port 80 publicly using public ip we can we are able to access our nginx server on the port 80 so now we will uh, configure our nginx server to proxy the request to the uh, node server we have 
proxy pass command that will pass all the requests coming to the nginx to our node server our node js api server Node.js server running on localhost three thousand. So this will this will uh, proxy all requests coming into the Nginx server to at port eighty uh, to our Node.js API server. I'm just saving this file and uh, restarting the uh, and restarting the nginx server so that the configuration new configuration will be applied before that we can check uh, there is no errors in the nginx configuration using uh, sudo nginx hyphen t command <laughs> It's saying uh, configuration engine text failed. We will see what goes wrong. Something wrong with the configuration that we change it now. I think uh, we forget to put the semicolon at the end of statement. <laughs> now it will be okay. Okay, so we can uh, reload the nginx now using sudo system control reload nginx and check the status of nginx now. whether the uh, proxy is working or not hmm. yeah now the requests are passed to our uh, node.js uh, hello world server hmm. example servers away so we are receiving hello world uh, from nginx hello world from the uh, node.js server we just completed our minimal setup uh, of uh, node.js uh, nginx as a reverse proxy for our node.js server uh, but this is uh, not enough we have to set uh, some other parameters some other headers uh, that need to be proxied to our uh, node.js server that will be useful to our application okay. we will see how to set that This proxy pass will simply pass our uh, request to the Node.js, but the schema and that uh, uh, and the other headers will be missed. So we have to set that headers. The original IP of the user will be will not be available in the Node.js server. So we can set those headers as a custom headers. We can rewrite those headers. We can set the custom headers and we can pass it to the Node.js. <coughs> For that, we can use a proxy pass header uh, command. Proxy pass, proxy pass set header. <laughs> so now we are going to uh, forward our uh, original remote address, like original user's original uh, IP address, to the Node.js server using by setting x real ip uh, custom header hmm. 
the same way we can uh, pass the same way we have to uh, pass the other header a schema also schema means is the protocol https or http what are the protocol that uh, nginx received we can also uh, set some other address based on our requirement uh, we can uh, check for the best practices on nginx site itself i forgot to mention uh, one point uh, regarding aws ec2 uh, if you want to access uh, uh your api server through port 80 or api server or nginx server that is listening on the port 80 uh, you have to enable the port in uh, aws ec2 security uh, rule set also just uh, go to the uh, ec2 dashboard and select your uh, instance and just uh, go to the uh, security rules and uh, just add port 80 uh, just enable the port 80 Uh, based on our requirement uh, this digital version documentation will uh, provide some more hints to you based on our requirement we can set some other uh, parameters like a host <coughs> host uh, connection and other uh, param uh, headers based on your need The minimal, uh, the minimum setup required is proxy post command. Uh, remaining headers and all based on your requirement, you can set remaining headers. Okay. It should be useful for your application. You can check the configuration correctness using nginx uh, configuration is correct now we can reload the server nginx server so that's all guys Thank you.